Hi and welcome to this video. So I'm pretty excited because Two Steps From Hell gave me the permission to talk a little bit about uh, my production I did for Chaos Theory, the album that I had the pleasure to write for Two Steps From Hell. And in this first video I want to go uh, over my track, The Beginning, and talk a little bit about the structure and form in trailer music. But before we get into this, I just wanted to let you know that I'm currently building a video online course about trailer music. So if you are interested to sign up, and uh, get on the waiting list make sure to check out the video description below and i will let you know as soon as i got news for you and now let's go okay so let me play you the track first and then we go over the structure and the form of this track Okay, so let's talk about these individual parts. As you can see here, this track basically consists of four parts. So you see the intro here, uh, next you see the main part, then you see a little bit more of an empty part, uh, the quieter part towards the, the end, and then you see the end part, which is basically like the ultimate climax, and basically also like a little bit of a fifth part here, which is uh, the ultimate ending, so to say. Okay, so let's first talk about why uh, the form and the structure in trailer music is so very important. So basically, the main purpose of a trailer track is to make people excited and to make them sell or watch a movie or a TV show. Also, if you look to the structure of other uh, styles of music, for example, to blues, it's most of the time, of course, not always, but there are exceptions, but most of the time it's a one, four, five chord progression. If you listen to jazz music, general structure of jazz is two, five, one chord progression. And if you have a live setup, at some point, uh, all of the musicians having like a round of a, of a solo feature, you know, playing, playing solos. And most of the time, these solos are improvised. So also if you check out uh, church music, most of the time there's an amen at the end happening. If you check out pop music, it's most of the time three minutes and 30 seconds long because this is uh, to be considered the ideal length to entertain a listener. And to come back to trailer music, we use uh, this kind of like, let's say a standard 
setup of and of course there are exceptions happening but we use most of the time the setup of these three or four sections to uh, you know bring across excitement and to make people excited to check out a movie tv show a video game so let's jump right now into each of these individual sections and let me just talk a little bit uh, about why i did what i did so the intro first here So the most important thing when um, coming up with that form or, you know, creating, writing a track is to set up some kind of like an ID sound that, um, you know, creates some individual, let's say, experience right from the very beginning without a big, you know, fuss or just trying to get sophisticated. It's just that that sound that comes in, like not really like a, bra a bram, <laughs> but uh, a punch sound and a little bit of that signal here. And then I'm trying to build that track based upon this previous part. So what is happening here, basically you have three parts uh, with four bars each. In the very beginning, I set up this kind of like a punch signature sound. Then I'm building the track during the next four bars more. And then towards the, the or the last, during the last four uh, bars, I'm building the track even more. And then I'm going straight for this first gap here. And um, these gaps are very important because you give the trailer editor or the cutter freedom because they may need not just one bar, but maybe two, four, or even eight bars because of some dialogue happening uh, in the trailer. And it's, uh, you know, obviously more difficult uh, if you don't do that gap here and just go straight for the music to just cut the music and just find other elements of the track or even of using other tracks to, um, you know, put like a little bit of a fade out note or some ending uh, to that, that makes the transition a little bit more smooth. And the other important part, of course, is to build more tension because you just introduce the track, then there's this gap coming and you build excitement. What is going on now? And of course, there are always exceptions happening. It doesn't mean that every track has to be like this. These are just common elements to build uh, excitement and tension. So let's move to the main part or that middle part here. Okay, so in this part, I went with continuing the strings pattern, which is pretty simple also. I just steered away a little bit from that signal sound to give the user a break to introduce something new, but basically basically keep the rhythm and the pace uh, you know, of that part. And then in the next section, which is basically the same like the section before, and I always say if you copy stuff or if you want to have some part longer, because this is most of the time uh, the part where the viewer of a trailer will be introduced to to the story or to some deeper elements of the story so you want to there is or there's not a problem to just copy parts but uh, you may want to vary these parts and just in this case i just built a little bit more of uh, percussions here for this one for the, for the second half
and of course variations um, in the melodies are happening and then we go back to that little bit of a quieter part here So we introduce the intro back then here. Build it a little bit more. Okay, so let me break, uh, do a break here. So we basically come up again with the intro. So we are reintroducing that signal sound from the very beginning. And, um, you know, to, to have this fall down from, from a highly, uh, you know, dy dynamic or a louder part back to the softer part makes the impact even bigger. And um, uh, this is also the part where, uh, in my opinion, like that ultimate gap is happening that creates tension about, wow, there is some thunderstorm, you know, brewing together. What is happening now? And then you just build this little, uh, you know, tension moment here where you usually have a downer or you have a riser coming up. And uh, so this part is here. Well, let me just play it from here. And let me just do a break here. So as you can hear, these are or this part is basically the main part. But um, you may have recognized or you may have noticed that this part here doesn't do any chord changes. It just stays on the root key throughout this entire part, which kind of like doesn't let the track move somewhere. So it creates even more tension that the brain kind of thinks like, I just want to break out here. I just want to develop into something, but we don't, we don't do it yet. We just want to keep, you know, that wild dog in the cage a little bit longer. And then finally at this part, we just break out by introducing uh, different chords, introducing different um, uh, bass notes, of course, and then this entire structure completely moves somewhere else. Okay, I'm stopping here. So we build this track even more. We build tension as much as possible. We just go for the ultimate ending. And basically we could already introduce kind of like an ending here at this point, but we just want to make it a little bit more exciting. So this is why we're building that track, building that track, and then come again for like an ultimate, you know, kind of gap where we just bring it down again and just moving it up again and go for the for the ultimate climax or the ultimate ending Okay, so it should be obvious, the final ending is happening again here. You have more drums coming in, um, you know, more excitement, more tension. And then again, uh, after the ending, I could have gone for another bar here that even drives it more, you know, towards that ultimate, you know, to the, to the ultimate top of the hill. And, um, but I just felt okay with doing it for like um, these three bars here of three bars and then going for that little dump again and introducing uh, that signal sound that you heard at the very beginning of the track so we kind of like draw the connection from the ending to the track to the beginning because this is what i want to stick in the mind 
of uh, the watcher or the listener of the track. Okay, so that's it. If you like this video, I would be really happy if you give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you subscribe to my channel, just in case, if you haven't already, and also make sure if you're interested to get, uh, you know, on my waiting list for my upcoming uh, trailer music course, make sure to check out the video description and uh, sign up. So as always, thank you so much for checking out this video. This channel would be nothing without you guys, so I appreciate all of you guys. Stay tuned for the next video and have a great day. Thanks for checking this out and see you soon. Bye.